Welcome back to the channel guys. You guys see the smile right here. I'm like super excited to show you guys like one of the coolest upgrades you can do for your BMW. I don't think I've ever been so excited for a BMW key fob, but the same way we upgrade our cars to look visually better, why not upgrade the one thing that's with us the most? Three of my cars got key fob upgrades. The first one being the E9035. It was just well overdue. The car was clapped when I first bought it. I completely transformed it and the key fob was like one of the last things that I needed to change because it just looks pretty bad. The, even the BMW symbol in the middle is just yellowed out. The key's been dropped probably like a thousand times, so it didn't look good. Well-deserved upgrade. The other car that I upgraded is the Toyota Supra. A lot of you guys don't even know that I own one. It's right there, that white one. Just don't make a lot of videos on it because I'm still waiting on a title. So I decided to do an upgrade on that one, even though I probably didn't need it since it's a brand new key. I decided to try something different. Then we have this one. This is the one that's been getting all the buzz, all the attention, being shared all over social media. When I put a teaser on my Instagram page, you guys went absolutely ballistic and have been waiting ever since for a video to drop on my channel. This is the original F10 key. Nothing very special about it. It's in good condition, but it still looks rather boring. Before I dig into it, if you guys want the key fobs on your BMWs upgraded, make sure and check out Gates Innovation. I'll leave a link to their website down in the description below. I'll go ahead and start off with the E90 key because why not? Most of you guys that watch my channel are E90 owners. Anyways, remember, this is what the OEM key fob looks like. We'll do a one hand unboxing experience here. Guys, this is the new key fob for my E90 335i. It looks pretty cool, right? And very familiar. These are the same key fob style that they use for G series BMWs like the X5, G80 M3, G82 M4, M340i. You guys get the point. This is an awesome upgrade and it looks miles better than that. This key feels so good in the hands ladies and it has a good amount of weight to it as well it's made out of metal we have a really cool design here for the m colors and here's what the back of it looks like it's like a matte black you retain all the buttons that you have on the original one plus there's an extra one here that i don't think works because our e90 keys do not have a panic button yeah there's definitely not a panic button there here's the e90 you guys are super familiar with we'll go ahead and test out the key fob we have unlock we got lock we got the button to open the trunk works perfectly responsive time is pretty good and as you guys can see panic button doesn't work it's just an empty button there guys just for show the one thing i really like about this key fob is that it matches the interior of my 335 the aluminum trim that you guys see here and the shift knob <laughs> it looks so good you can literally have it sit right there and it looks like it's right at home and it belongs there all right i'm gonna go ahead and start up the car and see no problem all right so i'm gonna go ahead and politely disappoint some of you guys that might be interested in this upgrade for your e90x it's only an option if you have comfort access on your car without comfort access this upgrade wouldn't work at least not now the guys at gates innovation are working on a solution that should be available sometime this year it's an adapter so you can actually insert the key into the hole but as of now only if you have comfort access because it just doesn't fit properly in there and you wouldn't be able to start your car. You need comfort access on your E90X to be able to use this upgrade, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and place the key fob in my pocket to show you guys that comfort access actually works with the new upgrade. So the doors are open at the moment and I'm gonna go ahead and use this to lock it and then my left hand to unlock it. You hold it down and it closes the windows and folds the mirrors as far as the key itself you press the button on the side it releases the key that's inside of the fob if you're upgrading from an f-series car gates innovation does cut the key in-house to match your original key if you're upgrading from an e90x sadly it's just too beefy to even fit in this housing right here side by side comparison here's the e90x key and the ones used on the f-series and g-series as you guys can see the e91 is just too wide and much beefier to fit in this housing right here. For that reason, E90X guys won't have the original key in here, but the F-Series guys will. When it comes to how far you can go to operate the key fob from your car, it's pretty much the same distance as the OEM one. My 335 is all the way back here. Unlock and unlock. Very responsive. It's the same exact thing. The only upgrade you guys are getting here is visually and obviously the weight. Talking about weight, let's go ahead and see how much it weighs. All right. 72 grams guys that's how much it weighs i totally forgot to mention that if you do want to do the key fob upgrade you do have to send in your key to gates innovation i believe they swap off some of the internals that's how they make it work they do return back the old one that doesn't work anymore only the upgraded one is going to work at that point if you have 
a secondary key, then good for you. You won't really have any downtime with your car, but if you have one key, just know that you won't be able to drive your car until you get that upgrade back. Okay, so the last thing before we move on to the next key fob upgrade is if you have an F-Series car, F10, F30, and you do not have comfort access, you can still start the car, no problem. And obviously you can use the buttons here to open and close the door. But if you wanted to use a comfort-like feature, Gates Innovation does give you this optional OBD uh, adapter that gets plugged underneath here. I won't be able to show you guys. I have an MHD wireless adapter plugged in, but you would plug that in. And essentially, every time you get close to the car, it would give off a signal. It would communicate with the key fob itself. So this is pretty cool. I can't demonstrate it because all the F-Series cars in the shop have comfort access. But you, if you don't have comfort access, you can still have comfort-like access with this optional OBD uh, device right Let's here. Let's go ahead and put the E90 key away and we'll move on to the next one. The original super key looks oddly familiar to the G series BMW key. I wonder why. All right, so moving on to the super key, we, <laughs> we brought on a guest because I cannot open this little package with one hand. Ta-da! That, guys, is the super key. That's pretty cool package, isn't it? Isn't it? As seen on TV. <laughs> this is such an interesting key fob because as you guys can see it doesn't have any buttons and it's so small right if you put it next to the super key look how much smaller it is lengthwise and width wise it's so slim as well and it's pretty hefty it has metal on the sides gorilla glass in the front gorilla glass in the back so it helps from getting scratched uh, it is a bit of a fingerprint magnet just because of the gloss black but once it's clean it looks pretty damn cool they make this one also for uh, the bmw uh, e series f series and g series and of course the super it's really hard to show you guys how small this really is on camera so i'm going to go ahead and measure it here a little bit over two inches in length and a little bit over one inch and with this little key fob here is perfect for that occasion where maybe you don't have a lot of room in your pockets you're a girl or a guy with skinny jeans or just want something that can fit anywhere even in your wallet probably yeah this is it right here so here's a quick demonstration i'm actually rocking skinny jeans myself and then i slip this little key fob in there and it's like you don't even have anything in your pocket nothing protrudes again this key fob here this minimalist one is strictly for comfort access since it doesn't have any buttons so whenever you go to open up the door you have the sensor in here that will unfold the mirrors and open your doors and then when it's time to go you use a little sensor here to lock the car you can hold it down that way your windows go up and your mirrors if fold. you do upgrade to a key like this you just got to remember where you place it because it's so small it can get misplaced i mean you can even fit it into this little slot where the e-brake control is at you put it right there the cup holder even that little pocket that nobody ever uses right here, check it out, just disappears. And of course, since it's comfort access, you don't really need to insert it anywhere. Car starts right up. And that's it, once you're done with the car and it's parked up for the night, there, then use the sensor, and that's it. it, gets locked. Let's see how much it weighs, 28 grams. There's not really a lot to talk about this key fob, guys. It doesn't have any buttons, and it works off of comfort access. That's pretty much it. Just know that the battery is sealed, so you won't be able to replace it yourself. I think they're going to start offering DIY kits in the future, um, but I was told by George at Gates Innovation that the battery on all their upgrades should last you up to two years, so that shouldn't be an issue. For the time being, for whatever reason, if you did need a battery upgrade sooner than that, then you would just send it over to them. Um, and they would they would replace the battery for you things to keep in mind Obviously since you don't have an unlock and lock button you also do not have a panic button That's an option. You just don't have with this key fob and also you don't have the button for the trunk opening and With these cars. I don't think you have a comfort access way to open the trunk from the rear like BMWs do I've legit tried every possible way to open this trunk without having to go inside of the car or using the old key fob unless i don't know what the hell i'm doing with the supra let me know in the comment section below but i don't think there's a comfort access way to open the trunk so if you are rocking this key you would have to go inside press the button on the door to open the trunk i think this is a perfect key fob upgrade if you do have a secondary key for either your bmw or your supra that way you can use it for special occasions all right there goes the super key moving on to the big boy finally the key fob upgrade you guys have been waiting for 
My apologies, I know I left it for the end of the video. I wanted to build up a little bit of momentum, but you know, I had to save the best for last. Guys, this key fob upgrade is such a flex for your BMW. There's really nothing out like it. It looks amazing, feels amazing. You have gloss black on the side with the M colors there as well. Gloss black in the back. You have some physical buttons here on the side, power, unlock, lock, the trunk, and you have a port for a USB cable so you can charge it. Yes, this comes with a rechargeable battery. And of course you have the screen here in the center. A pure metal silver F10 M5 was the perfect candidate for such a baller, badass, key fob upgrade so a few things i want to mention before i go into details about this digital key fob upgrade don't look at this video like a full review on it just because it's very limited it's an early product that doesn't have a final update so i'm very limited on what i can show you guys today there's like seven pages of menus and settings i'll only be able to show you the first two later on once it gets updated down the road then maybe i'll do a full review but at the moment i'll just show you guys what i can and i'll give you guys my first impressions by the way this key fob upgrade does work on the supra f series e series of comfort access and g series cars as well so like i said earlier this key fob comes with a built-in rechargeable battery you have the port right here on the side you just got to pull back on this flap right here and plug in the included USB-C cable it inserts just like that and there you go you're ready to charge the key fob before I show you guys the display we'll use the the buttons here on the side you got unlock lock you got the trunk and as far as the panic button it doesn't have one that's a physical button like we have here on the original key fob right there it's only available digitally through the screen which i'll show you guys now i've been absolutely dying to peel off this protector i wanted to keep it on until i made the video oh yeah so in order to wake up the display you have the power button here on the left hand side you'd press that it wake up the display here's the main menu here you have battery health on the right hand side you have the option to lock the screen for accidental touches and then you got the lock and unlock right here bmw logo here at the bottom as you can see it does shut off after a few seconds of inactivity so you have lock unlock lock unlock if i hold the lock button closes up the mirrors and if you have the windows open it'll close them up as well this is such a baller key not functionality wise because it has a lot of the same features you have in your oem key fob but just the look of it the feel and just having that display there it's unlike anything that's out there for our bmws right now if you swipe over to the next menu right here you have the trunk open so that works as well see and then this is actually where you have your panic button which is this diamond symbol that you see right here so if you hold it down there it is and then you can stop the sound by pressing the diamond button again like i said earlier unfortunately i can't show you the remaining five menus since this is an early version that doesn't have the final update i'm just simply not allowed to show you guys um in this video hopefully i can update you guys later on either on instagram or back here on youtube i hope you guys understand they're still going through some development uh, and they're going to add some features uh, i think like uh, sensitivity control auto window functions adding phone numbers and stuff like that so consider this more like a tease and like a first impressions video so you guys get an idea i mean even with just the basic functions this is such a badass key to flex honestly the screen the gloss black the m colors it looks so good oh and by the way you don't get a physical key with this particular upgrade i don't think so at least i went ahead and placed the g series key here on the left of it and the f10 one so you guys can see a size comparison uh it's definitely slightly bigger than the g series key and slightly beefier than the f10 key as well let's go ahead and put the digital key fob here on the scale 80 grams so definitely the heaviest one out of the three but there's also a lot more packed into it key fob goes into my pocket right here comfort access there you go close the door key fob is still in my pocket and that's it locks up i don't know how many of you guys actually knew that bmw placed a little holder for your key fob right here next to the cup holders i normally just use the remote from fi exhaust to control my valves and i put it there i'm curious to see if this key fob would fit there let's see yeah that's i don't think that's a that's a no-go for sure all right let's go ahead and start up the car which is going to be a very very loud cold start i haven't driven this car in a few days here we go Sure 
of you guys really understand how loud that cold start is. So for the F10 M5, I actually do have a secondary key. The Super I don't, the 335 I don't, but for the F10 M5 I do. So I have this Alcantara M Performance cover for it to make it look a little bit better than the damn stock design. And now I have this one, which pretty much does everything that this one does, except have an actual key. Again, this works for E-Series, like E82, E90X, that have comfort access. If you don't have comfort access, unfortunately, you won't be able to rock this key at this moment. Works in the Supra, F-Series BMWs, G-Series BMWs as well. The before and after the key upgrade, is such a drastic change, guys. Would you rather have something like this or that? I'd choose this one all day. The Super one, I guess it's a personal preference type of thing since it's so minimal. I just like the idea that I've never seen it done before. Kind of reminds me of like the Tesla cars, the new modern cars where they're starting to switch over to like cards or mobile kind of functionality. And of course, this one is the biggest change. I mean, you go from such a boring key fob to something that looks super modern like this. It's even more modern than the G-Series keys that BMWs come with. You can get an early unit from Gates Innovation now at a very special price. I think eventually once they have everything refined and you got the latest update, it's gonna be worth a lot more money. But till then, you'll be able to purchase this early version one at a lower price. So before I end the video, I do wanna address one concern a lot of you guys may have, and that is the durability of these upgraded key fobs, especially the one with the display. I'm not entirely sure, and I'm not gonna go ahead and experiment and do a drop test in this video, but I did ask the guys at Gates Innovation about this particular subject, and they said that um, the Super Key and this one are made with corner Gorilla Glass, so they're supposed to be super durable, even if you do drop them from a relatively low height. A real world test, I'm not gonna be the guy that tries. I'm assuming that you just wanna take care of this key fob in particular. I don't see why this one wouldn't be durable though. It doesn't really have a screen. It has a double layered strong glass. And this one right here is pretty much all metal all the way around other than this plastic portion that you see here on the back and on the side. Which by the way, I like because it doesn't leave any fingerprints. But this one probably should be the most durable one. And then second place. And then of course, just because this one has a screen, I would say third place. Uh, just take care of the key fob and I think you should be all right. It's, God, this is such a flex and baller key fob. I don't even think video does it any justice. You guys would have to physically see it and hold it in person. Guys, I really appreciate you guys watching. If it wasn't for you all watching my videos, I wouldn't have early access to these awesome BMW upgrades. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button before you leave. And as always, thanks for watching. Until next time.